And this is the Matt Brown Lip Paint from Nude Beauty. It is so good. I'm obsessed with this thing. Um, oh, a shot from Ella Bean. Cheers, Ella. Thank you. Stop Can the you get toxic oh. shock syndrome from your ass? <laughs> Did you say live? What are you doing? Turn it off. Turn it off. <laughs> I really enjoyed Don't Fan the Flame, bitch. Uh, I think it was a really fun social commentary on mass media and the idea of um, celebrity and social celebrity and how social media all goes into that. I think it was um, a really biting look at how it impacts our um, interactions uh, with each other, both in real life and um, on the internet and and how it brings in this weird s social status into it um that doesn't always like you know pan out in real life and and how weird that is um i think the pacing of this was really great um every scene there was something new bringing bringing the audience in um and you really packed it full of this um kind of seething review of of social media uh but it was really really incredible to watch really enjoyed the writing uh it was overall very entertaining and i it, it was very well done don't fan the flames bitch um does a hilarious job of capturing the complexities um, and the pitfalls of online life when it starts you have this really kind of rapid constant assault of various sort of channels of digital information, social media stuff, you know, the characters are sort of texting, tweeting, live streaming, all together, all jumbled up, and that overload really captures what being online does to your brain, basically. So that was really clever. And um, its use of digital awareness and to craft great comedy is also great. So when you get the comedy of errors type thing, when two characters switch phones and people are texting and thinking there's somebody else and getting responses from something they think somebody else is a very clever way of taking that classic comedy of errors format and updating it to the modern age so that was pretty funny um and they also kind of all got very strong personalities um and what's interesting is how those personalities organically contribute to comedy and comedy comes from those characters which is just clever and interesting and makes you kind of care about characters and want to spend time with them um so that's all great and i do think it just does a very funny clever job of capturing you know the sheer kind of complexity and horror of existing online so Hey, I'm commenting on the short film, Don't Fan the Flames, Bitch. Um, I just gotta call out how absolutely confident this is. Um, I think it is really just brilliantly written, and it's hilarious. Um, it's really snappily edited. I love all the effects you're using, you know, like, uh, bringing in all of the modern media techniques and everything, what with, you know, like, the phone screens and um you know the instagram real stuff and i really just i think this is fantastic uh like i've i feel like i've seen you know actual like tv shows airing that aren't as snappily written and edited as this uh it feels really super professional uh you're getting fantastic performances from everybody involved um the styling's great i honestly everything about this is fantastic um just yeah really 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 great work on this i absolutely loved it really awesome i thoroughly enjoyed don't fan the flames um the two things i really want to address <coughs> that stood out to me the most were just how fast but fluid it was there was such chaos but everything made sense like i could follow along but it definitely felt chaotic um, but I, I, it didn't lose me. I didn't feel lost. I didn't not understand. Like, I got everything. Um, which is very hard when you make something that fast paced and so many things are being thrown at you at once. Uh, that being said, I found the social media spin on this film to be very creative. Um, I loved it. It fleshed out this world. It made this world feel more full, especially the credits with all the different, uh, TikTokers reacting to... Uh, the flop that was the stage show. Um, <laughs> the cab driver was definitely my favorite character. Um, all in all, I had a blast watching this one. Don't fan the flame, bitch. This film is chock full of action and dialogue and quick comedy. Uh, Alexa Proner crew of social media celebrity, a day in the life of with all the conflict that goes on and off there. Um, the texting and the car shots I thought was well done. Um, it was a good sequence 
and they went really fast so you really had to pay attention to keep up but I like that um, I like that they mention mental health mental illness issues they bring it up twice and I thought that's good it just gets conversations going about that um, the driver had some wisdom for the group um, which was kind of a nice relief from the chaos the stage host was funny about the 14 minute uh, Pr Proud Mary presentation that he had to do because she was late for the show. Um, nice action, but it was hard to hear the music at the end and it ended quickly, but I liked the concept and it was comical. Great. So this was a good, you know, social satire. It was uh, very lively and uh, fast paced, full of life. The actors were all funny. Um, you know, overall it was a good use, uh, a good satire on, um, you know, uh, social media and um, mass communication. Uh, the way they're all crammed in that car together and texting each other is, so, uh, you know, using their, using their mass communication devices to talk to the people that are one foot away, you know, that was funny. So uh, yeah, no, nice job on this and uh, I hope it does well for you. All right, I just finished watching um, Don't, Fla Don't Fan the Flames, Bitch, which I thought was um, a very funny and interesting piece, which was sort of an examination of social media culture and um, culture um, writ large in terms of uh, not saying the right thing, knowing how to navigate a sort of code words and um, dynamics in which you can say something that gets misconstrued, you can make a statement online that gets blown out of proportion, and sort of how you end up uh, navigating it. I thought it was really interesting to watch the dynamic between um, the characters, not just the lead characters, the women in the open, but especially in the uh, Uber scene, I believe. I'm in the middle. It really reflected an interesting ensemble dynamic in which everybody really um, had their own voice and had their own perspective that made it um, sort of funny, not just in a physical comedy level, but in sort of a way they navigate silence as well. And there was a really um, interesting uh, conceit with them texting while they're still in the um, in the car, which sort of reflects, um, I thought, a broader theme of how people don't know how to uh, directly uh, deal with certain um, issues in conflict and sort of uh, need other ways to sort of um, navigate these issues through um, an image of themselves or a construct of the persona online that's hard to maintain when you get into real life. And I thought um, the drag performer, as she um, went through the journey of the piece, ended up reflecting that with her performance not going well and sort of being interpreted a million other ways online as to whether it was a publicity stunt or whether, whether or not she has a, a problem, uh, how she should um, treat everybody. And I thought it was a really um, interesting um, approach to a concept that's sort of not that easy to navigate without nailing the humor appropriately and the piece was really able to um, make the humor feel relatable and also feel sort of reflective of um, bigger ideas about um, what it means to sort of be a minority a personality in particular and a culture that is um, sort of making it difficult to express yourself so I thought it was a, a funny piece it was, uh, all the actors were um, clearly at a great level of dynamic chemistry with each other that came through and I think that's why the humor ended up um, working as often as it did.